Hey guys, how's it going? Coming up tonight is a core 2021 box opening that you are not going to want to miss. It was so good I had to refilm the beginning of this just to let you know to stick through and watch the whole video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button, pass this video to friends. It's something to watch. Hey guys, welcome back. MTG Moxman here. Yeah, you've got a mini me in the corner. I'm trying something a little new for the box openings. That way you guys can kind of see my face when I'm like super excited about something. Uh, now also, I thought we'd start out tonight. If you're new to the channel, of course, make sure you hit and smash that subscribe button. Love to have new people coming into the channel. Now I do have a little opening thing to do. I, I covered the address and stuff over with the card, but um, as I've told you guys before, I do like to purchase a lot of stuff. So, I thought... I would show you, oh, oh, that was it, uh, pick myself up some beautiful, oh, 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 and here, some beautiful pathways, uh, again, they were $5 a pop, you can't go wrong for five bucks, people, um, and I really expect some of these things to go up a little bit, but at five bucks, if they go to 10, it's still, I saved half as much money, so important thing. Uh, for those who are looking for Patreon spots, I do have a small $2 slot open on my Patreon. You can feel free to look and join on that. There is only one slot though, so first come, first serve. Okay, uh, all right, and let's get to our winner here. So uh, Devin won this one. We're gonna crack this baby for him, and of course I will ship all the good cards out to you, buddy. So don't worry. Um, I didn't bring a scissor or anything, so we're gonna start this bad boy out with. That's right, I opened it with with just my simple tape line thing. Who who needs something special? Rawr, teeth, you know? All right, now, Core 2021, the last boxes I opened, I got hammered. I basically cried. It was so bad. So, I'm hoping for something a little more um, advantageous for everyone tonight, right? Because th this set, like, the collector boxes are very good, but this has not been so great uh, when opening individual packs, although there are lots of good cards in here. So... I'm going to try to keep all these bad boys on camera properly. Bear with me here. I know this is kind of cool with a little mini me in the corner. I couldn't get the camera lined up, so if this is a little grainy. It's because it's the VGA cam that's actually on the laptop. So ooh, ooh. I had to pin down some stuff to make sure things don't move when I when I try to do the opening tonight. So let's see if we can start out here. Hey, we start with Teferi. Let's hope we crack at Teferi tonight. Let's hope we get some bad boys going here, all right? Now, I'll be doing this pretty quick, obviously. Uh, and that's just to save time, guys. Nobody wants to see all the stuff get open forever and ever and ever. All right, we got... Uh, we got a Pestilent Haze. A Warmonger. Oh, that, that is very pretty art, though. All right, we're starting off with See the Truth. And I definitely see the truth. I'm not even putting the uncommons in the screen, guys. You saw them on camera. You're good with that. Come on, you're good with that. We got to get some speed here. Now, Core 2021, in my estimation, is actually, it's going to be underrated. There were a lot of good cards. We have Ugin and stuff in here, guys. We have amazing cards that you could get. But let's be honest. If you don't pull one of the bad boys, oh, you're in trouble. Sight of Light's a good card. Seek Striker. Hey, nice. Elder Garcroft, man. Nice. That's, the, that's what we're talking about. Oh, wait. That's my face over there. We'll put this one down here, this one here. And we got a common, which will just go in that pile. Unless it's a cool common, uh, even if it's a foil, I ain't putting it in there. All right? That is a nice way to start. That's a good first mythic, man. Oh, this way. Good first mythic. I'm telling you. That's what I'm talking about. And again, they see what I mean? They do have good cards in the set, right? Uh, Wingmare. Twinblade Assassins. Druid. Hey, Containment Priest. I'm okay with that, too. Way to go, Containment Priest. Welcome to the party. But when you have Ugin in the set, we got Grim Tutor, we got a unique Teferi. This is a good set. It just, it came out in a time where there was lots of other sets out there that just gobbled up people's money. This, this will not get extra printings. It's going to be short run. And 10 years from now, I expect it to have some serious value. Okay? Not any sooner, but 10 years from now. Eh, Caravaner, who cares? That's a very boring card. I know that hates and stuff, but eh, eh, eh. you don't see it anywhere, do you? No, you don't. And yeah, I'm dropping wrappers on the floor. I'm going to clean the wrappers later. I promise. Sanctum. Now, Sanctum is a pretty good card. Oh, Teferi's Tulage. We're seeing that literally everywhere, aren't we? Eh, Devotee. Oh my goodness. Dude, we're doing good, man. <laughs> That's 
that's a massacre worm. Very nice. Mythic number two. I got no complaints. We are one stack in. We've already got a couple mythics. All right. Obviously, this is the boxes I should have had. I should have, like, uh, refilmed this, huh? I'm telling you, this is crazy. Very nice. Uh, I've seen this guy literally everywhere as well. Stalker. Empath. All right, pack leader. All right, dogs get plus one, plus one. Nobody cares. Nobody cares if the dogs get plus one, plus one. I know they try to make dogs a thing, but it ain't happening. Let's be honest. It's not happening. Let's see here. What's coming up next? What's coming up next? All right. We're back into the goodies. Invigorating Surge. The Scythe, which I've seen the odd time. Haven't seen the Oak Guy. All right, Glorious Anthem. I am seeing this card, okay? Glorious Anthem in a lot of these uh, token decks right now has been a thing. Oh, and we got a very pretty island. I'll put the pretty island kind of off to the side there. Half buried by my mini image head. I'm telling you, this is not bad. So far, I'm not uh, I'm not displeased with what we're seeing here. You know, and there's a lot of utility cards in Core 2021 that people just aren't giving a lot of thought to right now, but it has some good stuff. Uh, sphere. All right, like double vision, okay? Whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell each turn, uh, that spell you may choose new... Like, come on. You, you, you get to copy it? Freaking awesome. I'm telling you. Oh, but our rare is a web spider guy. Reach hexproof protection from blue. Well, I mean, there's worse things, but there's also a lot better. That's all right, though. Maybe we'll get lucky later on and get something else totally awesome. Uh, okay, we got Patrician, Elder, sorry, okay, the Center Lamore, the Kraken, all right, Azura Lost but Seeking is a good card as well. Again, Legendary Creature lets you get out the bad boy some extra turns, it's not bad. Frantic Inventory, and a Soldier Token doing nothing. For an entire first stack, this is what I wish all my boxes look like when I open this. Instead, I got like two Mythics in the entire box, I cried a lot. You can go back and look at those videos. They are totally horrific to watch. Tormund's Crypt. Faith. Rule. A Speaker of the Heavens. I've seen that card everywhere. Literally everywhere in tons of decks all the time. That and that Fiend. All the time. Because that just seems to be a very popular deck to play, isn't it? The Mur Cultivate again. What a utility card to have in this set. It's amazing. Tide Skimmer. Oh my god, did we just have Azur? We literally just had it two packs ago. Talk about a repeat. I mean, it's not a bad repeat to have. Don't, don't get me wrong. This is not a bad repeat to have. It's just funny that it's an exact repeat of what we just had. And please let me know how you think of this kind of angling where I'm kind of commenting as well as still opening on screen. I'd like to know what people think of that. It's not my normal style. Usually I just do a big screen, but I figured try something new. Siege Striker. Volcanic Geyser. I tried to use this. Didn't work. Hey, Baron! Talarian Archmage. He killed himself, blew up the Italian Academy, and saved everyone. And we got a pretty forest. I like them. These lands are beautiful, by the way. I don't think they'll be worth anything, because Wizards overprints the lands so much now that nothing ever feels special. Just doesn't feel special anymore. The Sanctum. The Shaman. The Druid. Okay, that's a double speaker. I mean, there's worse things you could have. That's double speaker and double Azura. Come on. Out of all the choices we have, at least, I mean, I guess there's worse rares we could be getting, right? Let's let's be honest. There is. All right, we got a rewind. Uh, sniper. Soul Seer. The series Lieutenant Alternate Art. Uh, again, not a horrible card. It's not much value, but there's a lot worse out there than that, you know? So I am I am totally cool with it. Yeah, I don't mind this camera angle myself. And myself, I'm having an okay time. Alright. Garrick's Alter Uprising. The Hollow Blade guy. Then we got Warden of the Woods. He's protecting everything. Look at, look at him. He looks like a big tree folk guy coming to save the day. Hey, Animal Sanctuary, again, underrated. Um, I have tried to use it and haven't made it work yet, but still, it, it, with the right deck, come on, that's gonna be pretty good. That's not a that's not a bad rare to have come, right? 
All right, what's coming up next? Let's find out. All right. Nope. All right, here we go. Patrician again. Thrashing Brawny. You see it everywhere now, right? Sacrifice, destroy an artifact or enchantment. Tide Skimmer, don't care. Hey! <laughs> man, this is a good box. Wow, man. Grim Tutor as well? Not bad. Not bad. I ripped that pack. Wow, that was a good... That's nice, man. Congratulations, Dev. This is good. Seriously, man. The Houndmaster. Soul Seer. The Gormand. I guess it's Gormand. Peer into the Abyss. I've seen this deck quite a bit. I don't see as much right now, but I have seen a lot of it. It is a good card. Especially with a little... Uh, Underworld Dreams with you, which had original printing, I think, what was that, uh, Legends? I remember people having that back then. Using it with uh, Howling Minds to make you draw. It's hilarious. All right. We got a Selfless Savior. We got a Miscast. We got a Watcher of the Spheres. Oh, Temple of Silence. That's lame, guys. Lame. Oh, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. Wow. Congratulations, bro. I'm just going to sit here now. Like, I was just complaining. Wow. Alternate foil, full art extended. Buddy. <coughs> That's crazy. All right, let's keep going and see what comes up next. All right. Uh, let's get through this, bad boys. Come on, let's get through this. Let's get through this. All right. And uh, we got a Pyrling. Nobody cares. Nobody, ca nobody even cares right now. Here, let me get that out of the way a little bit. Uh, Karen Grub. <coughs> Waker of the Waves. Heroic Intervention. Again, nobody, nobody even cares. We just saw Full Art Ugin. We just saw crazy, like amazing cards. I mean, if we get if we get to fairy out of this, this this is just a home run box, and like it already is a home run box. The, the Ugin pays for this box. Think about that. Ugin pays for it. Wow. I'm not even really paying attention as I open now. It's crazy. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> this is an amazing box. All right. Oh, we got a brash taunter. He's taunting people. He's taunting me. He's got to stop taunting me, but he's not. He's not stopping. All right. Furious Rise. Unsubstantiate. Riddle form. Nobody cares about a Temple of Epiphany. See, those are the ones I don't want to see. I don't want to see them. That's not a rare I'm looking to see. I thought about that after I said it, when we had the, the double... um. Speaker of the Heavens guy. And that's when you realize, you know, that's the one you don't want to see. So you're like, ah. All right. All right. Hellkite Punisher. Brontodon again. An Angelic Ascension. And hey, Maze Mind Tome. Very nice. Very nice. That's much better. I mean, like I said, nothing else matters. You've already got the Ugin, buddy. You're, you're done. This is like... The best box of Core 2021 I've ever opened or I've seen opened. So, kudos to you. I'm telling you, that is nuts. Uh, Leafkin Avenger. Oops, sorry, moving the whole table here. Uh, Sanctum of the Harvest. And Chandra's Incinerator. Wow. That is just... That's crazy. That's better than some collector boxes I've opened. And I was just complaining about how bad my boxes were. So as I said, this is an underrated set. Now, I don't think every box is going to be like this one. Don't get me wrong. I agree. The boxes are hard to come by of any significance. But still. Uh, Conspicuous Snoop. Right? We're on our last stack here, guys. Pretty amazing. I'm going to try to wrap this one up in under 20. See how fast I can go through these here. Uh, the Adept. The Cultivate. 
the Angelic Ascension. Ah, Pack Leader Dog. Again, that's two dogs, two speakers, two something else, and a Charter's Pyroling. Um, we got a lot of doubles, let's be honest. We got a lot of doubles tonight, but that's all right, because Ugin makes up for everything that went wrong today. Everything, literally. Tavern Swindler, Unleash Flurry, and Eliminate, and we got a Whale. We just need Jonah. Where's the Whale? Oh, we got an Air Foil, um, Rare of Temple of Milady. Um, it's still a couple bucks, right? I'm sure. I mean, it's still a Scryland. They're not my favorite, but hey, could be a lot worse, man. Having a second one for free when we already had one is nothing to be uh, sniveling at. That's uh, Light of Promise, Palladium Myrrh, Immolator, Primal Might, which I have seen quite a bit of that being used against me lately. Uh-huh. I'm seeing that on Arena quite a bit. Quite a bit. And you got some pretty good stuff, man. Let's hope we can get a couple more Mythics for you. Even if they're not great Mythics, let's just hope we get a few. Sanctum. The Hold. The Scourge! Oh, come on! Come on! What do you want from me, guys? <laughs> and a foil! <laughs> uh, what's the point? <laughs> Do you mean guys would just say, man, I'm going to refilm this and I'm just going to keep this box for myself because you know the next box isn't this good. Right? And it doesn't matter how good of a title I put on this video tonight, it's not going to get that many views. Right? I know it won't. But... This is like an amazing box, guys. Come on, you have to it. Please leave comments and pass this video on to friends because this is just like crazy. Carrion, a storm entity, and another foil. Like, come on. That's just nuts. Not peanuts either, it's good money. Good money for you, my friend. Congratulations. That is crazy. Never, never have I seen a box this good. I'm gonna put some title, but what's it gonna matter? This is nuts. Avian, another temple, come on. Look how many temples you get in these boxes. I know it made up for it ridiculously already, but still, it's ridiculous. How many temples you get? The only thing making me happy is the fact when you guys watch this video and you see those Ugins, you're like, that's the only thing. Uh, eh? <laughs> 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 What's the point? <laughs> I'm just gonna mail you the rest of the packs, bro. It 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 doesn't matter. This box is just going to keep giving for you. It, it, I, I got shafted, but you, you, you get everything. No problem, buddy. It's all for you. Congratulations, man. This is like amazing. I'm loving opening this. Uh, standard bearer, foil land. A cool mountain, though. Cool mountain. All right, we still got uh, four packs left. And this, this box is crazy. I'm still hoping to keep this under the 20 minute mark. Sorry, my phone went off, you know, work and stuff. Uh, yeah. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Yep. Discontinuity. Sure, why not add another cool card? What did that say? Who is that? Oh, that's okay. That is somebody on my Instagram. Well, hello to Instagram. Oh, that was funny. Come on, guys. What did I say? Yeah, I got this. Oh, oh I put Griffin in the wrong pile. Ah, uh, we got Sneak. I can die, please post this video. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. 
Demonic Embrace. I'm just... We, we got one pack left, guys. Just one pack left. And we're, and we're done. And we'll go over um, the cards he got tonight. I really hope people watch this video. Is that right? Yeah. Oh. Alright. Last pack. Fury. Epitaph Golem. Eliminate. Jory's Recluse. Uh, a bad deal. No, you did not get a bad deal. And everything is awesome. Um, this is... <laughs> this is MTG Mox, man. Uh, really hope you enjoyed your video watching tonight. I'm trying to move these out so we can see them all. <clears throat> we have... A full Art Grim. A Discontinuity. Teferi, Master of Time. A Full Art Ugin. A Full Art Foil Ugin. Another Grim Tutor, a Masker Worm, and an Elder Garagoth. And that was our opening tonight. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please share this with friends because this is by far a god box as far as a draft box is considered. I'm just cracking up. I almost peed myself. It was so funny. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in. This was MTG Mox, man. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Hey, guys. MTG Mox, man here. Congratulations, Devin. This is like by far the best box I've ever been lucky enough to open on the channel for a regular draft box, man. That is crazy. Congratulations.